the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Passing says the federal government will soon repatriate over 50 Nigerian girls trapped in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Director General of NAPTI, Julie Okandonli, said this in Abuja while briefing Foreign Affairs Minister Geoffrey Nyema on the outcome of the investigation on Nigerian girls trafficked to Saudi Arabia. Our correspondent has details in the support. So when I got to Saudi, it was a different thing entirely. I was taken to a particular home. My passport was collected from me and I started work. It's not easy at all. I'm talking for the young girls that are in Saudi right now. That are in, that are in, that, that are in this kind of position I was in before, before now. I want our government to come to their aid and assist them. This is a young lady supposed to be in her 20s, narrating her experience on how she was trafficked to become a maid in Saudi Arabia. But for the help of NAPTIP and the Foreign Affairs Ministry, she would have still been there. The girl speaks English fluently but didn't reveal her identity. Narrating how did in Saudi Arabia, she says she was lured by a friend living in Dubai who connected her with a woman in Abuja. Adding that she left for Saudi Arabia alongside other girls on December 30, 2017 before being rescued by NAPTIP through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I was taken for medicals at Dr. Azan Hospital. They promised me that I will, I will go to Saudi to work as a, as a sales agent, like, like a sales agent, let me put it that way, and that I will be earning almost like 1,500 1, riyals, which is equivalent to 150,000 Naira Nigerian currency. The Director General who came along with the victim explains that the team was set up by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Geoffrey Onyama, after a complaint was lodged by NAPTIP on the nation's youth being innocently trafficked to Saudi Arabia. Just like this young lady, hundreds of Nigerian young girls are stranded in Saudi, working under slave-like condition in people's home. There are lots of um, Nigerian girls that are stranded in Saudi as I speak. Um, under um, slave-like conditions in people's homes. Most of them are raped. Most of them are made to work 18 hours out of 24 hours to sleep in very poor conditions and they are not paid what the fraudulent um, travel agencies promised that they were going to be paid. Describing the situation as pathetic, Onyama assures that the federal government is going to deal with the issue of trafficking and persons holistically to see the end of the menace. We are also in the process of having interministerial uh, uh, meetings and with also uh, MDAs uh, to really address this uh, problem, this issue uh, once uh, and, and for all and to put in place um, the mechanisms uh, to, to, to really um, get a hold on this, uh, on this issue. Reports on trafficking, no doubt, has a very negative impact on the country and the people. The report also reveals that this is a real scourge and it is pervasive now in the society. But a lot more needs to be done to sensitize the people on the dangers of trafficking. This is just one rescued from the claws of trafficking, but hundreds of other young girls are there hoping that one day they will be liberated. But the government must do their best to assist other girls that are stranded in Saudi Arabia. Gloria Kiba, Court TV News, Abuja.